So I'm going to try and explain how a sale works um, using this new tool that I found, uh, and we'll we'll see how it goes. I um, have drawn the wind here. I'm moving it around on the the right hand side here, uh, and I may, might move this around while I'm talking a little bit, but for now we'll just leave it up in this corner over here. Uh, and I have my sailboat, which I can change its size, which is kind of cool. Um, and you can see the mast there uh, in the middle, um, that little gray circle. So the first principle which most people know is that um, if I point my sailboat into the wind like this, um, I can pull my sail in all the way, but um, nothing will happen. Um, the, the sail won't actually work because my sail is just acting like a flag um, and will flap. And it will still do that if I turn my sailboat about 45 degrees and pull my sail all the way in, it will still flap. Um, and the same if I was to go, oops, the same if I was to go the other way, about 45 degrees, similar kind of thing. All my sail is just going to do is, is flap or um, what we say is to luff. So here my sail is, hold on a second, my sail is luffing. And that zone, either side of where the wind is coming from, um, if I were to draw that in, let me draw a little bit better line there. Looks something like this, and that's called the no go zone because however much we might try we, we can't sail in that no go zone because our sail is going to be luffing again however much we we pull it in okay so um, we've established where our sail doesn't work uh, and now I'm, uh, I've changed things around a little bit. So now I have um, the wind coming down the page and I have my sailboat here um, sailing actually uh, across the wind. Let's do a little, draw a little arrow in here. Um, so my sailboat's moving in the direction of the the yellow arrow there. Um, in order to, order to actually get it to move in that direction, um, I have to use the sail. Um, now, a common misconception is that that's not a very good sail. Let's try that again. It's not very good either. One more time. Okay, that's better. Um, so if I draw my mainsail. Uh, I'm going to leave the, the jib out. I'm draw my mainsail on. Um, and how I've drawn it on here is I've pulled my sail tight. I've pulled it all the way in, um, almost to the, to the middle of the boat. Um, and how that sail is working right now is um, what I might call a push mode. Um, so all of the force on the sail, let's bring another arrow in here, get a little 
little bit smaller. All of the force on that sail is um, from the wind pushing on the full size of the sail. And so all of the force on the boat is in this direction. Now we, we have something called the keel or the centerboard which helps by pushing in the opposite direction. And so the resulting force should be this way. Um, taking a few steps back though, um, we can actually make our sail more efficient. Um, we can use our sail in a push mode like this where the wind is just pushing against the sail, but it's, it's actually, the sail is actually designed to work like an airplane wing. So, um, we actually need to trim our sail in a very specific way so that it works in the most efficient way, giving us the most driving force. Um, so let's let's zoom in a little bit and have a look at that on the next slide. Okay, so I've zoomed in a little bit uh, and I've um, drawn my wind on again, coming across the side of the boat, um, and you'll notice. This is how I drew my sail on before, um, and the thing is, is, like I was explaining before, at the moment, it's only working in push mode. There's actually, at the moment, only wind hitting this sail on the side of the red arrow, and then we have a dead space all over here behind the sail. So we can actually make our sail a little bit more efficient um, by doing something called trimming. And we're going to trim the sail. Let's type this in in red. Just in from luffing, or for short, we call it J I F L. And I actually didn't learn that until a few months ago from a friend. Um, so the way that we, we do that is we actually let our sail out until it just starts to luff around the front of the sail where it comes to meet the mast. That, that's called the luff, that part of the sail. And when that just starts to flap or bubble, you stop letting it out. And you pull it in a little bit. That wasn't a very good drawing. That's better. Um, and so then my sail is just in from luffing. Not quite luffing. And what's happened right now... So what we we have now is we've changed the mode of the sail. And so the wind is still hitting uh, the sail, but it's actually doing something a little bit different, and we're actually getting wind on both sides of the sail. So let's um, have a look at that in a little bit more detail on the, the next slide. Uh, here I've drawn some uh, arrows onto the sail to 
help us see what's happening with the uh, flow of wind across the sail. So because my sail has a curved shape, uh, I can use it in basically an aeroplane wing mode where I have different pressure on each side of the sail which then gives me a driving force uh, in this direction over here. Uh, and you'll see how the wind is still coming down from the top of the page here, but what's happening is it's dividing uh, and some of the wind is going on this side and some is going on this side. And we actually have flow now when we have our sail just in from luffing, flow on both sides of the sail. Uh, and that creates different pressure on each side of the sail, which then gives us that yellow driving force. And that pressure is a high pressure on this side and a low pressure on this side. So to prove that this theory is correct, um, that I get more driving force when I use my sail in um, an airplane wing mode versus a push mode, um, you should go sailing. And um, if you go sailing and just stepping back a second, um, if you go sailing and, and you watch this and you know how a sail works, um, which hopefully you will after watching this, uh, then it doesn't change how you set your sails or trim your sails. You're still setting them by going back to that one basic rule of just in from luffing. We just now have an understanding of, of why we're doing that. Um, if uh, I'm this boat here uh, and I'm on a a point of sail called a run. Then just in from luffing is going to look um, a lot like this. Um, probably because that's as far as you're going to be able to let your sail out and it's still not going to be luffing. Um, and the way that this sail is working right now, the mode that this sail is working is just in the push mode. There's no flow over the sail. The wind, which is at the top of my page here, is coming down, hitting the whole sail, and then just pushing the boat along. And this point of sail here, um, this run, will feel slow, because it is. It's one of the slowest points of sail, um, in comparison um, to the two other points of sail that I've drawn on here. So um, this point of sail, just in from luffing, would look something like this. And just in from luffing on this guy might be similar to a run. Um, we've basically let the sail all the way out, but now what we have is we have flow over the sail, where we have flow on this side. And flow on this side. Not as much, but we have some flow. And we have perhaps some, maybe less flow on this side. And some, maybe less flow on this side. Um, and these two points of sail, uh, this top one here being a close, almost forgot then reach um, will be faster than a run 
and the close reach where we have maximum flow on both sides of the sail that, that sail is acting completely as an airplane wing will be faster than our rod reach over this side uh, and so go out sailing and, and try it try Justin from loving go on different points of sail try the close reach try the run try the broad reach um, and they'll all um, feel a little bit different um, and that's because um, our, our sails are working either more or, or less efficiently with the close reach they're acting the, the sail is acting very efficiently maximum flow on both sides of the sail as long as you have it just in from luffing um, and then the broad reach um, will be acting somewhat in push somewhat in just in from luffing airplane mode um, and then your run is acting completely as a push so the, the run will definitely feel the, the slowest just some uh, closing uh, points uh, to summarize the first slide we talked a little bit about um, you can't sail the no-go zone and that no-go zone is 45 degrees either side of where the wind is coming from however much you pull your sail in you're never going to get it to stop luffing unless you turn your boat away from the wind always trim your sail just in from luffing it doesn't matter what point of sail you're on, that's the golden rule. Uh, so use it always. Uh, I still use that when I'm sailing all the time. And um, a point for understanding is the sail works best when it is jiffled um, because it has that high pressure and low pressure. Um, just like an airplane, um, because of the shape of our sail, it acts like an airplane wing and that gives us the maximum driving force. So jiffling your sail that's the best thing to do that's going to make you go fast and that's um really the the biggest point to take away from this um thanks for listening uh i hope that was helpful uh that was um something new um and uh i'll uh, probably try again with a different topic um again at some point soon thanks bye for now